Welcome back everyone. I'm going to do a quick video and a path light I'm making for when we go on our camping trips. We have a private campsite that's got no power or anything like that and it's in the woods. When we first started camping there I used to um, use tiki torches. I didn't like messing with the oil with no running water to wash my hands clean things up. So then at some point I started using solar lights which don't last very long and in the woods it's very hard to charge them because there's no sun, no direct sunlight. So I'm like why can't I make my own light that I recharge that can last for days. So that's what I did here. It's a simple uh, AT Tiny um, 85 controller. Uh, we got a lithium ion battery here. Uh, 18500. We'll essentially go in here. And we got one of these cheap lithium ion chargers off eBay. You can get like five for two bucks or whatever. The circuit drives the light. There'll be a, a push button where you can set different modes for different brightnesses. That'll basically be on here. And then I'll fish through the bottom side here. Um, oops. This is just the cover to go over the light. And then the top hood where the CDS sensor can tell if it's bright or dark out. Basically it just operates all night long and dark when it's dark. It'll be further away from the tent on the path so it won't really uh, affect our sleeping. It should last at least three nights on this, maybe four. Since we typically camp two nights in a row, that's more than enough. And if it wasn't, we could charge it in the car. Okay, I got all the bits soldered together. We're going to just make sure it works. Uh, switch is right here. Now to get the light on, we just have to cover up the light sensor. Should come on. Right there. And over here is the switch, just a push button that we press to change the mode. There's a dim. It's like four brightness settings, and then it goes back to a flicker. You can't really see that well on a camera, but. The flicker is meant to simulate like a flickering flame. Alright, so everything seems to work well. I'm going to weld it in with a um, 3D printing print. Okay. Well, I got everything secured in place. I used a, this was the uh, 3D printing pen I used. Um, the control wasn't all that fine. It got a little too much came out here. Came out a little sloppy, but none of that's going to be seen. The light underneath, that'll be covered by this, so it doesn't really matter. Here's the button that switches the modes. You can see I just kind of welded it in place with a 3D printing pen. Clever. Like so. And the top alone, like so. Right here. I'm going to line up the, the light sensor with the hole on top. It clips, clips into place. And then that will just, I'll just get glued on there. Okay. It's charging right now. It's red as it charges. This hole leads up to the LEDs in the, in the charging card that's in there. And it's blue now because and actually it was just done charging so that's how I knew I'd get both colors. It's my camping path light. Thanks for watching.